That was The Seeds with The Flower Lady and her assistants from the uh, album Future. And before that, can you tell us what we had, Lisa? Yes, we had some very, very limited edition, never heard before music by Sky Saxon and Dana Smith from a CD called Sir Magic Love Hers Le Chateau, which there are only 10 of in existence today. That's it. And uh, we heard two tracks. The last one we heard was called So This Is Love, and before that, Breaking News. Breaking news, yeah. but you know, I'm, I'm like that record is really great. But I'm really here to promote, like I don't know, I'm, your new I'm record. We've got a new record. Austin, or? Texas, I guess. <laughs> as the music no, capital of America. Of America, you know, because I'm going to help you because you love the dog. Does that include Canada too? Well, if they think like Austin. <laughs> <laughs> so part of that promotion is going to be a uh, Sky Show with. Um, the World Spirit at the Fuzz Club World tonight. Spirits, yeah, World Not just spirits. the bands, but also 60s movies and videos, a liquid light show, go-go wow. dancers, DJs oh spinning wow. 60s music. It's going to be a party. Wow. And right now we're talking over um, a recording by uh, Yehoah 13. Wow, are you going to play that? Um, that's actually what we're talking over right now, and I wasn't able to track down any of the tracks with you on, unfortunately, but I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about your time with the Source family and uh, Father Yod, is that how you pronounce it? Father Yod, yeah, but see, the word Yod, it, it's a lesser word for God. Mm -hmm. It would be like Guru is also a lesser word for God. In other words, if a Guru wanted to take it on, he could be God, you know, but see, we're talking this way, maybe thousands and thousands of gods and thousands and thousands of goddesses and one father, you know, father, okay. So father has a name, and the name is Yehoah. And the name is born out of the ethers, fire, water, air. And that was the name of an album you did with? Well, see, that's the name of God, fire, water, air. But that also means Yehoah. Okay. So Yehoah 13 is like saying uh, Yehoah, Yehoah. I was with the source forever, you know, eternity. And for some of our listeners maybe don't know uh, the source, and there was a family of people in the late 60s, early 70s, started from a restaurant well, in... we started like in... in uh, see, I joined a family in 69. I, okay. I, I, left, I never left the family, but father left the body August 25th. Um, August 25th, 1975. Uh, 75. Uh, and how has he, uh, how did he influence you musically? Well, see, look, when you asked me some question, I don't know if I was on the radio with it, you know, but the biggest problem is people say, like, oh, I write, I do this, you know, and then the other person will say, yeah, but don't you think you'll dry up? And the person might say, well, yeah, maybe. But see, since I don't write anything, you know, I didn't write the song last night, Time, you know, Doggy Time. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even know what the words are. You know, they'll be different today. All I do is channel it. So if I was channeling something, I'd have a billion songs. You know, I'd, I'd be unlimited. So when you realize that 
that you yourself are not doing it. God is doing it through you. You're the vehicle for it. If you want to take credit for it, then you will dry up. But if you give Yehoah the credit, why not? It's your father. So a lot of the times when you're doing yeah, songs now, yeah. are they more spontaneous things that are just kind of coming and being challenged, channeled well, through you? On, on this see, on this album, Back to the Garden, it's uh-huh. like five years in the making. You know, songs like that I work on. You know, now if you ask me if I if I think they're better than the other songs, you know, I almost have to say I don't know, because this is what you know what you're gonna get. Right. But when you do something spontaneous, you don't know what you're gonna get because what you're doing is like. Letting all these baby eagles jump off a cliff and see if they can fly. <laughs> the baby eagles are the band, you know. Oh, I'd like to mention their names. I got Josh, <laughs> Joshua. You know, he's so great on the bass. He's like, an awesome bassist. He's an awesome bass, you know. And the thing is, he played guitar for 15 years, and he switched over to the bass. You know, I gave him my precision bass to play because it's what rock and roll is about, you know, precision. And then I got Dustin. He plays lead guitar. He's so good. I got Evan on drums. He's really great. Of course, okay. Skyler on piano. And now, guess what? Lo and behold, you know, to help Austin, you know, be the music capital of the world, I think I commissioned, commissioned or enlisted Spencer, you know, from yeah, Sheba's sure Head Band. Band. Mm-hmm. And he's so good, man. You know, and he's really, a, he's really a kind soul. You know, somebody heard it ask me. If I wanted to have the greatest band in the world, if they all had attitudes, I'd say no. I would, I'd much rather have somebody that's pure, you know, unjaded, you know. Basically, write about anything with a Rickenbacker guitar. <laughs> some more acid. All right, this song's called Mr. Farmer. In the movie, almost famous. No acid is in the air. You can just pick it out, you know, like that.
Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is song just for you. Okay, more requests. Start South by Southwest, like this. Nice keyboards. More just for you. All right, give it up for World Spirits. Well, you know we're all World Spirits. Uh, listen, you're really great, Austin, you're great, and uh, I love you, I love Austin, and I love you for taking care of the dogs, and uh, may God, Yehoah, bless you. <laughs>